This is a brief video podcast series in which we are looking at the 12 cranial nerves and the paths with which they exit the cranial vault. We have done cranial nerve 1 through 8 at this point and are finishing off with a single video of cranial nerves 9 through 12. We can see the exit point of cranial nerve 9 through 12 or cranial nerve 9 through 11. We'll be exiting through the jugular foramen, as shown in the dry skull here. And that allows us to turn and pick up the continuation, which we'll notice will be associated with the internal jugular vein and will be located in close proximity to the internal carotid artery. Cranial nerve 12, as we will see, exits through the hypoglossal canal located here on the underside of the skull and from here and that continues on once again exiting very close to the internal carotid artery so that these four nerves all emerge very close to one another. This model shows 9, 10, and 11 all exiting the jugular foramen by the sigmoid sinus, which would be picking up the internal jugular vein. And from here, we can switch to this posterior external view where we can see the three emerge closely associated with the internal jugular vein. From this view, we can see the external opening for the jugular foramen, and that allows us to identify cranial nerve 9 associated here, which would run to the base, uh, the back of the tongue and the pharynx, hence the name glossopharyngeal nerve, primarily involved in sensation. Here we see cranial nerve 10, which is much more extensive, continuing down. And once again, branching extensively to supply musculature to the posterior aspect of the pharynx. And then continue through the carotid sheath to be able to supply parasympathetics to a great portion of the body. And once again, from this view, we have cranial nerve 11 that's also emerging. And at this point, we see a cut. This is where it would enter into the sternocleidomastoid muscle as well as the trapezius. Finally, from this underside, we can see cranial nerve number 12. And if we jiggle it a little bit, we can see its association through that jugular foramen there. And from here, it's going to wrap around to the front of the body. It will receive those branches from the ansa cervicalis and then will disappear under to the base of the tongue to supply motor innervation to the majority of the intrinsic tongue muscles.